Good day fellow designers, my name is Quentin Dupria. In this video we'll have a look at versions, branching and merging within Onshape. Versions, branches and merging are without a doubt some of the most powerful tools in Onshape. But they can feel confusing and even a little daunting if you're not familiar with their function and use. You may think to yourself, if I do it wrong, I might override someone's work. Well in this video I'll introduce you to versions, branching and merging and show you how easy it can be to implement and use to improve your product development design process, if you understand how it works. Onshape's mission statement is, everyone working together with CAD on any device, anywhere. Using Onshape's built-in versioning tools, not only is everyone working together, but every change made by every person is recorded in the sequence that they take place. Onshape is a database within CAD design tool, which means that Onshape records literally every single step taken in the development of a document from the beginning of time. The Onshape history graph is a place to view every step that was taken and every change that was made in that document. Everything from feature creation, part feature renaming, and even small things like moving a rollback bar in the model tree or creating a new tab in the document. Now let's take a deeper dive into the history graph and look at the function of the version types within Onshape. We refer to these auto-generated steps that are recorded as microversions. You can then use these microversions to go back to any step in the design whenever you want. You can think of it as having the ability to do unlimited undos. We can then create versions from these microversions. Versions are simply a bookmark at that specific point in time so that you can use that version or bookmark reference to go back to significant points in the design process. We use these versions to integrate branches from. The main function of creating branches is to create a separate workspace from a particular version or point in time. This could be to explore design options, or to allow different users to focus on different aspects of the design without affecting one another's design changes. The best thing about having these independent workspaces to design in is that you can then merge these design changes from different branches back into the main design. Before we merge the branch back into the main design, we can use the comparison tool within Onshape. The comparison tool allows us to evaluate the differences between two versions of the design, both graphically and down to the feature level. We can then choose if we want to merge these results from the branch back into the main design or not. So here we have an example of an on-shape document. First thing I'll do is create a version, so I can track all the changes I make in this session. So let's have a look at the version of history graph. So in the versions and history graph, we can see all the changes that were made since the beginning of this document's inception. Here we can see version 6 that I just created in this session. And we can go all the way back to the first version created, all the way back in June. As we discussed, this denotes a micro version. And from these micro versions, we can create individual versions or bookmarks that we can refer back to or use to create branches from. Let's go and have a look at this functionality. We'll jump back to version 6. And from this version, we'll create a branch. And we'll add a description for adding detail. And create a branch. Now, as we discussed, the branch is just a separate workspace where I can design in, but I don't affect any of the other branches or uh, the main design branch. So now they have this design branch active, B3. So let's go ahead and make some changes. I'll go over to my part studio. 
where all the design happens in Onshape. Select an edge and add a fillet. I'll give this a 0.1 inch fillet. And I'll add another curve to that selection. Now that I've added features to this design, let's go and have a look at our versions of the Rock again. If we expand our version V3, our branch V3, we can see there's a change to be made by inserting a fillet. I can go ahead and do things like rename a drawing. In this case, I want to follow the same naming convention as with under the other tabs. You'll see that I can jump back to any of the other branches or other versions and investigate those. See if I jump back to the main branch that the effect of renaming the drawing has not taken place. Jumping back to this branch B3 that we are designing in today, and see all the changes that have been affected. Now let's go and investigate the changes between these two. Here we have our main branch. And here we have our new version B3 branch that we've been working on. If we hit the compare tool, we can compare these two. We end up the compare tool. We get a visual representation of what has changed between the two, as well as being able to dive in and see that from the main branch, this fillet feature is missing. It was added to version B3. Investigate the details of that. Before I do that, I need to create another version. And I can click on the main branch again to exit the tool. Now I want to merge these changes back into the main branch. Let's create a new version 7 here. And let's give it today's date. And hit create. We right click on our branch and say merge this into our current workspace. Now the merge functionality works from 2, so we're merging all the changes from B3 into the main branch. And here we can see the changes that have been affected, the merge from B3. Now that you understand history of versions branching and merging, I hope that you'll utilize these powerful tool sets in your design process. Thank you for joining us. If you're interested to find out more about Onshape and any of these capabilities, please contact us. Links to our website with contact information is down below. Or if you want to try out the free licensed version of Onshape, follow the link to our website or request a free trial and create a free Onshape account. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to our channel and remember to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified first when we release new content. Till next time, from myself and the rest of the team at Product One, goodbye, tot ziens, hamagaifi.